alright. The display goes blank for a moment, then the face of Green Winters winks onto the screen. There's a look of astonishment on his face. The timestamp on the video reads 2054 11 17. Holy shit! I just stumbled onto some of Adrian's old lab notes. I'm not gonna say how I came across these, someone might get hurt if the wrong people watch this. But I've checked them against some of Adrian's old handwriting samples, and they're legitimate. Holy shit, this is big. Alright, okay, back up, slow down, breathe. Okay, so these notes, they pretty much confirm something that I've already suspected. The Luftwaffe didn't shoot down Fearschwinger. I mean, they tried. They pumped thousands of rounds into the air around her, and they lobbed rockets at her for months. Lost a lot of attack helicopters and fighter craft in the process. But none of those things were responsible for, for taking her down. The Dragonfall was caused by an experimental warhead, one that Adrian and his steel defense think tank designed. The dragon can... Like, literally air-to-air -air missiles, can, the dragon can survive those? How? <laughs> I don't understand the science of it, not even a little bit. But from what I can piece together, it looks like they designed some sort of chemical radiological agent that acts on the metagene. Oh. I don't think that they fully understood what they were doing. It was 2012 after all, I mean the process worked. But I don't know if they understood why it worked. Uh huh. Anyway, when a warhead full of this stuff comes into contact with a dual-natured creature like a dragon, say, it drives a wedge between that creature's physical and astral forms. The body gets put into a sort of hibernation state and the spirit is forced down. It also looks like this process can maintain that state of separation indefinitely, and that's, pretty, that's a pretty horrifying thought. Right, so they separated the astral essence of the dragon from the body. That's why there's a ghost dragon in the socks. And the body, somebody probably collected the body. And they just have to put them back together. And Fuel Shrink is back. A discorporated, discorporated, discorporated body, discorporated body is supposed to die in a few hours. I've heard horror stories about ghost walking mages getting trapped in astral space and unable to rejoin with their meat. I heard they went crazy from the pain. If what I'm reading is accurate, it's entirely possible that Führschwinger has been trapped outside of her body for over 40 years. <laughs> cool. Winters pushes his chair back and slaps the table in front of him. This is why Adrian was always so cagey about the subject of Führschwinger after the Dragonfall. He knew for a fact that she was alive, even if only technically. Her body crashed down into the socks, sure, but she wasn't dead. The government wouldn't let Adrian tell the public about any of this, of course. It interfered with the lie that they were feeding us. That the firing was dead, and that everyone was safe. And that people should stop hiding in their basements and get back to work again. But privately, he always said that she was still out there, somewhere deep in the socks. I'd always thought that he was paranoid, but I was wrong, he knew. So what does all of this mean? It means that the stories I got from the ghost rat suddenly sounds a lot more plausible. It means that Führschwinger is definitely alive, and that Adrian's disappearance is unquestionably tied to her survival. It also means that Germany is in deep shit, because if Führschwinger is still alive, it's only a matter of time before she rears her ugly head again. Okay, that's enough for one night. I'm gonna go get drunk. The DVD player ramps up to speed, filling the air with a shrill whirring sound. Green Winter's face appears on the screen. He looks younger than he has ever been, than you ever seen him. But from the way he's carrying himself, he's clearly drunk. The timestamp of the video reads 2033 515. <laughs> well, he was always ugly, no matter his age. Look, Adrian, I understand you. Lord knows I do, but you've got to drop this dragon fixation. People are starting to talk. There's a camera cut, and you find yourself looking at a young, handsome Dr. Adrian Vauclair. He wears a slight smile on his face. Oh, they're talking, are they? What a terrible shame. <laughs> Damn it, Adrian, this is serious. You're a public figure. You can lose everything if you don't keep these ridiculous fairy tales to yourself. 
Hermie, my theories are not, as you call them, fairy tales. Dragons are real. I saved Germany from one. Have you forgotten? No, of course not. Everyone knows that you killed the Firewing. Stopped. Not killed. Fine. Stopped. Whatever. Winter swipes the bottle off the table in front of him, drains it, and drops it to the floor. You know, I don't, I don't drink, and I can tell you that you being drunk is a very ineffective way for you to convince anyone of anything. <laughs> if you want to change somebody's mind, you being a drunk doesn't help at all. <laughs> Green Winters is like drinking entire bottles and trying to talk his, his brother into not pursuing the fireway. Have you, like, have you as a sober person ever had a drunk person try to convince you of something? It doesn't work. It just plain doesn't work. <laughs> so this is like the stupidest thing. <laughs> Call it whatever you want, but Adrian, you're the only one who's still obsessed with that damn thing. There aren't many of them and they're not taking over the world. Yeah, but they are. They are taking over the world. <laughs> Beauclair's face is quiet, soft. Such is the cry of the cancer patient, unaware of what's killing him. I'm fine, not to worry. I'll smoke another cigarette. What's the harm? He doesn't see what's happening, but he winds up dead all the same. Now you're just being maudlin. Look, Audrin, or Adrian. You mark my words, Hermie. Within five years, corporations, even countries, will fall to these creatures, and the worst part is nobody will care. <laughs> I mean, he's right. He's right. I don't even know how much of the world Lovewear owns anymore. Oh, people will tut tut about it. There may be a protest or two, but nobody will actually do anything to stop them. The immortal, all-powerful, utterly pitiless reptiles will seize more and more of our power, wealth, and territory. And we foolish, short-sighted mortals will never get it back. <laughs> Green Winters chuckles uncomfortably, raises his hands in the air in a supplicating gesture. Come now, Adrian. Beauclair talks over his brother's interruption. We could solve the problem, of course, but we as a species are unwilling to invest our energy into problems that aren't staring us right in the face. As it was with climate change, so it is with dragons. I've accepted that, but you can't ask me to stop caring about it. Wait. Was he planning to take out the other dragons? As well? <laughs> Was that what he was trying to do? Oh, that's ballsy. With this shakes his head, you're hopeless, Adrian. Fine, by all means, keep caring. You keep you just just keep your conspiracy theories to yourself. I'm telling you this for your own sake. Yes, Hermie, you're right, of course. I mustn't jeopardize my credibility with the masses. <laughs> it's not just your credibility that I'm worried about. Talk is talk, but sometimes sometimes I worry that you're really going gonna go back to the socks. Hermie, I... Yeah, no, he's gonna go back to the socks. Please, big brother, just drop all of this. Stop hunting the Firewing and start living your life again. If you don't do it for yourself, then for Christ's sake, do it for me. Why? Why? You're just some drunk idiot. Alright, Hermie, I'll try. <laughs> Can you imagine some ugly drunk dude Ask you to do something for his sake? <laughs> Maybe if you sober up. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. A rattling sound fills the air as the disc grinds in the tray. A few seconds later, the screen fills with text. User, Jolly Green Winters, last active, 1554, sex male, meta type human, ethnicity Caucasian, body type muscular. Age 50, looking for female. What's H-E-D? I don't know what it is. Athletic. 25 to 30. You're a 50 year old dude looking for someone who's 25 to 30? I'm a fun loving guy who's also a great listener. I love hiking, clubbing and all kinds of pets. I'm looking for a cute, funny, adventurous girl who's down to party. I don't respond to profiles without pics. No orcs, no trolls. Sorry ladies. <laughs> now now we're just making fun of him, right? 
the disc rattles again. You find yourself sitting on at the main menu. You check the DVD. All right, all right. Now we're finally gonna talk to Paul. As you step forward, the rest of your team falls silent. Amso shifts his attention to you. You can see the worry on his face. SCKC, I have new information. I'm afraid that the news isn't good. Uh, yeah, I can tell. You gathered the whole team. He nods. Yes, this is something that you all need to hear. Well, go on. We're listening. Uh, hold on. Where is Monica? Where is Monica? This, this me? Iger? Dietrich? Blitz? Where's Monica? Two years ago, a large shipment of a highly lethal radioactive bioweapon disappeared en route to a storage facility in Dresden. The weapon was designated X-15. I have traced the path of the missing shipment. It was delivered to the Harfeld Manor. Radioactive bioweapon. Harfeld Manor. Well, that sounds horrible. <laughs> it is. I've heard of this stuff before. Back in the servers, we called it Doom. I've never run across it in the wild, but I've heard enough horror stories to know that I don't want to. The stories that you've heard are correct. This Doom is an extremely dangerous substance. He gestures to a technical document on his computer's display I've been reading up. To this day, the story of Doom remains a cautionary tale in biotech circles. Monoclonal antibody technology is strictly regulated now, and this substance is one of the reasons why. Monoclonal antibody technology, that, that's basically just like artificially producing antibodies and then injecting them into your body to fight a particular disease, usually to fight a particular disease. But they can also mess you up. What does this stuff do exactly? Amso clears his throat and reads aloud from the information on the screen. Doom kills by destroying a host's muscle tissue via radioactive decay. Okay. Each individual Doom antibody is bound to a radioactive bismuth 212 isotope. When introduced into a host, these antibodies bind to surface level muscle tissue. The tissue is then killed with alpha radiation. This process repeats itself until the host wastes away and dies. Okay, I mean... It's not any worse than other chemical slash biological weapons. It's, I mean, there's all kinds of awful if we talk about chemical and biological weapons. Um, also, I don't think this actually works because the monoclonal antibody like, they don't last very long. Like, antibodies, they're not that stable. They decay over time. And so you kind of have to, like, I think you have to keep them fridged. Or you have to just use them relatively quickly. Right? Like, if you just disperse them into the environment, I think they decay very quickly. I don't think this actually works. Anyway. Jesus. No, not Jesus. Bioweapons, Dietrich. Eager, Eager nods grimly. I've heard that Doom was deployed in a couple of border skirmishes back in 41. After seeing what it did to people up close, the UCAS passed a universal ban on the stuff. If that doesn't tell you how bad it is, nothing will. Right. I mean, yeah, me, okay. Okay, so I hesitate to ask, but what would a dragon want with this track? Nothing good. Uh, she would want to make herself radioactive. <laughs> I don't... Like, if the dragon's gonna use it to kill people, she doesn't need to use this to kill people. She can kill people herself, right? <laughs> 
She's gonna make herself radioactive, I think. That much goes without saying. This development worries me, SCKZ. It worries, it worries me greatly. So the dragon has a bioweapon. Alright, good to know, but that doesn't change what we need to do. If the dragon is stockpiling bioweapons, we've got an even bigger problem than we thought on our hands. Doesn't change what we need to do. I'm with SCKC on this one. This is interesting. Scary, even. But it doesn't actually change anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she was gonna kill people anyway. I mean, the fact that she has a bow weapon just means she's gonna kill people. I mean, it ups the stakes if Firewing is allowed to carry out her plans, whatever those might be. But we're gonna stop her before that happens. That was always the plan. As far as I'm concerned, it's still the plan now. I agree with Dietrich, we need to focus on what's in front of us. Whatever the dragon's larger plans might be, the fact is that she is after us. We shouldn't let ourselves get distracted by anything else. Emso is slow to respond, finally he nods. Yes, I concur, for the time being we must continue forward. And that means that you must continue working towards raising Alice's fee. I'll leave the matter in your capable hands, SCKC, when you've acquired the necessary funds and are ready to head back out to the rabbit hole. Let me know. From there, we will discuss our next steps. I got nods. Good. If you need me, I'll be getting prepared for the next run. Right behind you, love. Dietrich casts a backwards glance at Glory. If any of this has an impact on her, she doesn't show it. Come on, Glory, let's go. Oh, Glory's back there. Alright. That's it? That's the whole talk? She has a bow weapon? <laughs> it wasn't that important. I mean, yeah, okay, but... Doesn't change anything. All right, let's talk to the team. Let's see if they have anything new to say. At the start of your approach, Blitz stops out his cigarette. He gives you a curt nod. SCKC, I'd offer you a smoke, but that was my last one. Uh, how did that whole Emily situation work out? Yeah, well, sort of. It's mostly speculation, truth be told. So what's the deal? Is she working with the Azis or what? No, I don't think so. But I do have a new lead. After our talk, I went wading into all of the Az technology matrix hubs I, that I could find. Nothing too deep, don't worry. I didn't want to set off any alarm bells. But I had a, bu had a hunch that if I poked around long enough, I'd find something that might lead me to Emily. And sure enough, I did. A message from the genuine Ardako herself. She messaged you? <laughs> sure enough, sent me a note. Wanna hear what it's, what it said? He presses forward without waiting for a response. I'll tell you, the note said, and I quote, Lay off, Blitz. I told you to leave me alone. You've shown admirable self-control over the past year. Please don't give up on it now. I'll be back when I can, if I can. Until then, keep away from me for both our sakes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, she'll be back? You didn't say that she'll be- you didn't tell me she'd be back. She's gonna be back, leave her alone. <laughs> well, no, she's probably in trouble. I mean, she, she's probably in some kind of trouble. So I found her, and she wants nothing to do with me again. No explanations, no apologies, just a verbal pat on the head. I've shown admirable self-control, really? She makes it sound like I'm a toddler or something. So did you lay off like the message said? <laughs> no. Hell no. I wasn't gonna stand for that. Where does she get off stealing from me and then acting like it was my fault? I tried to trace the message like any good decker would. And note your use of the word tried. <laughs> he nods grimly. She's good, SCKZ. Better than I ever thought she was. I couldn't trace the damn thing. I could keep digging though. I mean, if she'd noticed me doing it before, I must have been close. Now, before you say anything, I was more discreet this time. I can be subtle if I have to. Nobody noticed what I was doing, and I did find another clue. Alright. <laughs> That's okay, I'll tell you anyway. I found a connection between Emily and Seda Krupp. Oh, she's working for Loafweir. So... Do you think that she works for SK then? That she stole the encrypted data from you to give to them. Well, maybe. I don't know, it's confusing. I was also able to track down some message fragments connecting her to the Shock Wellen writer. 
Oh. So maybe she was a Seder crop mole, and she got close to me so that she could, I don't know, so she could profit from my decking expertise? Maybe when she told me not to steal the data, she was using reverse psychology? That's gotta be it. She must have wanted me to take it. <laughs> no, 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 Blitz. No. Uh, no, she's, she's working for SK. And you messed up her... There were other plans, and you messed up her other plans, is, is what happened. He frowns, then shakes his head. But then again, maybe she's with the shock Relen writer. And she's screwing both the Azzies and SK over. If that's the case, then maybe she was with me because she genuinely, genuinely wanted to be. He pauses for a moment considering. Then all at once he seems to perk up. His chest puffs out and he nods once decisively. In either case, I should make an effort to find her. I mean, she's paying, playing a dangerous game, whether she's with SK or the Shockwellen writer. Maybe she's gotten herself into deep. She might need help. I mean, why else would she send such a cryptic message? <laughs> Look. I think that you should go after her. She's clearly in over her head when she needs you. Um, Blitz. That message was anything but cryptic. She wants you to stay far, far away. It's up to you, Blitz. At the end of the day, you're gonna do whatever you want it to anyway. Uh, I don't want to say any of these things. What I want to say is, she's clearly... ...doing something... ...difficult. She wants you to stay away for your protection and probably for hers as well, because she's doing something secretive and... ...you're gonna blow her cover. Or you're going to get found out. So you shouldn't go after her. But she might get into trouble at some point. I think that you should go after her. She's clearly in over her head. What if she needs you? I don't... I'm not sure that she is in over her head. She's almost in over her head. Blitz, that message was anything but cryptic. She wants you to... She wants you to stay far, far away. I mean, like, do you trust her? Does Blitz trust her? Does Blitz trust her to know what she's doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, that's what she said, but I'll bet that she didn't mean it. <laughs> She probably just didn't want to worry me, or maybe she said it under duress. I mean, I've gotta, you've gotta agree that it's at least worth checking out. But let's listen to me, this is a bad idea, and nothing good's gonna come from it. No, that's not what I wanna say. Forget what I said anything, you should go after her. I'm sure that she needs you. No? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to tell her to stop. I'm going to tell him to stop. You're in too much, Chief. I'm the best, remember? So where's the harm in digging a little deeper? I mean, M might need me. If this is how you acted when you and Emily were together, I can see why she left. <laughs> he recoils as if you punched him. Whoa, that was a pretty messed up thing to say, Chief. No, that was the truth. It was also accurate. You routinely ignore those around you because you think that you know better. I'm here to tell you, you did not know better. But I... Blitz, listen to me. You need to show some more of that self-control and drop this. Like, I don't know that that's not... Don't drop it? But trust her enough to let her do whatever it is she needs to do. Without interfering. Blitz deflates before your eyes. He looks down at his shoes. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, boss, you win. I'll let it go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a story. 